Hello, here we have a really nice chemistry demonstration which could be used to talk about the properties of gases, acids and alkalis, or even used as open evening material. Now, this demonstration requires dry ice, um, which is solid CO2, carbon dioxide. Now, we've purchased this from our university's biology department. If you have a local university nearby that has sciences, they should be able to supply you some because it's just they use, just use it for packaging. Some supermarkets or health, um, hospitals also have dry ice, which they may give away free, or you can purchase it from some suppliers. If you also have a dry ice cylinder, you can get an attachment which will compress it and create dry ice as well. So it is available. Now, this dry ice sublimes straight into a gas, and we're going to use that property in this demonstration for a wow effect. Now, over here, I have a flask with some water in it. To this flask, I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide. Now, this is just to make it slightly alkaline. And then I'm going to add some universal indicator. Just a few pipettefuls of this. Now, as I swirl it, we should hopefully have a nice blue colour, like so. Now, we have that there, we have a nice alkali solution. To that, I'm going to add the dry ice, the solid CO2. And we should be able to notice several effects. So as I put this in... Firstly, you'll notice as the CO2 goes in the liquid, it bubbles straight away, it's subliming straight into a gas. You'll also notice that it's heavier than air. And these clouds here are actually just water vapour. You can see the CO2 is dragging it down. Now this CO2 is coming over because it is heavier than air. You'll also just notice that the solution we've put in there is actually changing its pH. As the CO2 bubbles through, it creates carbonic acid in the water. Some of the CO2 is left behind creating carbonic acid and that's changed the solution from an alkali solution into an acid solution.